Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I have a little surprise to, to do for you tonight. Um, I, I do this on my other channel, okay? Um, but I don't think I've done it for you guys yet. Um, we're going to do pull your oracles from my little coin jar, okay? My little coin tin. Um, and I'm going to read your oracles first. It's, I, I'm being led to do it. I don't know why. I'm like, but I usually do that for new view and the divine is like, do it for cancer. Okay. Um, so anyway, cancer, this reading is for the collective. It may not resonate with all of you, right? Just take what does resonate cancer, leave the rest. You guys know the drill, right? You're pros at this. And thank you, my darlings, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing. I love you guys right back. For real. You, you're you always, I love the comments. Your, your comments are amazing. <laughs> you guys are so cool. Thank you so much for everything, Cancer. For real. You're just cool. All right. So um, I'm going to shake this up. Okay, and it's going to be really loud. So I need for you guys to cover your ears, please. All right, here we go. Okay, it doesn't take much. All right, so we're going to read the coins today. All right, I just want a few just for your oracle, okay? All right, what am I seeing here? Ooh, somebody feels very stuck, very stuck, wanting to be free here. Look at that. I feel like somebody's getting messages from the divine, honestly. I'm seeing this as a dove, and I'm seeing this as ancestors. Um, so, yeah, I feel like um, and they may have been trying to plant some kind of seed here, but that didn't work. They need to get on that bronco cancer and they need to bust butt on their own um i feel like this person may have tried to send somebody else in or tried to get closer to you or get information from you uh, from, through someone else and i feel like the divine is like nope you're still stuck that didn't work you need to get on this horse and get in there okay what's this one yeah they're getting messages to get moving Get moving. Stop being stuck and get on this horse. They're being told to get moving, Cancer, for real. Yeah, if they want this new beginning, they're going to have to do something about it. This requires action. This is the Ace of, of Wands here. It requires action. Okay? Yep. Valley Fourth. I think that's what they say, right? Valley Fourth. Um, yeah, but the divine is literally pointing this person in the right direction here. They're really kicking their butt. They really are. The divine is just right on top of that. They're right on top of this cancer. Yep. As above, so below. Let's get on it, buddy. Let's get on it. <laughs> yeah, I kind of get the sense that they, they start like the divine is pointing the way. Um, saying you've got to take some action, but this person gets scared. They just get scared. See, they, they know they need to get on their horse, but now they're on the horse riding in the opposite direction. <laughs> so this person is scared to come forward. I don't think the divine is going to leave them alone. No, nope. they're like, nope, uh-uh. If you want this victory, this is a victory here I'm seeing it as. If you want this victory, or it could be a torch, you need to pick up this torch and you need to go that way. You need to go forward, okay? I feel like they're, they, it's like they get on their horse and then they turn back around cancer. This person's just scared. They're scared. But um, they do know the direction. The divine is saying them that way, that way. That's what they're telling this person. They're pointing in this direction. Go towards your future. Get in this boat, right? Get get cancer to calmer waters. It must be as above, so below. Yeah. And I'm seeing the seedling grow into a big tree here. So this has the potential cancer to transform if this person plants their own seeds, right? If they come in and do it themselves, 
this has a chance to transform here. But they can't keep, um, I'm feeling this energy where they, they, they start coming in, they start getting this passionate feeling where they have to take action, and then they pull back because they get scared. Sort of trying to move forward, and then they pull back because they get scared. That's the feeling that I'm getting from this person. And the divine is like, no, this is the only way to get a victory here. It's the only way to get a victory. Like this person could be getting a lot of like, seeing a lot of repeating numbers, right? 111, 222, 1111, 555, 333, right? Um, things like that. They could even be getting shown like a progression, like 1, 2, 3, right? Things like that. Or at eights. They could be seeing a lot of eights because it's time for this person to come back around. Yeah, they're scared. <laughs> oh, Cancer. Cancer, this person is so scared. Look at how they're guarding their heart. They're like, I know I want this new beginning. I want it really bad. But, I, you know, and this is their back and forth, right? I need to go forward. Oh, wait, I can't. I need to go forward. Oh, wait, I can't, right? They're guarding their heart because they're, they're afraid of rejection. Um, they do see you as the one for them. I feel like this person, uh, you know, honestly, Cancer, I got to say, they've had other options. I'm not going to lie. <clears throat> but they see you as the only one for them. They want to get back together. <clears throat> but they've done so much to betray you. Not just to your face, but behind your back as well. And I feel like this person's scared, man. Yeah, I, they, they could be taking a shot of courage here, Cancer. Like, this person could be drinking heavily right now. Um, but I feel like um, you're their wish fulfillment here. You're the one they want to settle down with. This person definitely wants to get back together with you, but they can't go through other people to do it. They've got to make the move themselves. This is I, I'm seeing this as a test. And I had that in the water signs reading today too, guys, actually. Um, yeah, <clears throat> that you're both being tested. I'm seeing this as a test. Your person needs to get on this horse themselves, and they need to point themselves in the correct, in the correct direction. Um, it's the only way to have any kind of chance with you. And I'm telling you right now here, you're the one that they see as wifey. You're the one they want to get back together with here. They may have had other options in the past. Sorry, Cancer. Um, but you're the only one with the qualities in someone that they can build something solid with in the future okay you have shown this person you're that you're loyal you're dedicated you're a hard worker you can handle everything on your own you're responsible you're independent um you're dedicated uh, you know, you're, you're not afraid of commitment and you're very, very worthy of a commitment. This is the Queen of Pentacles here. She's the committed one, okay? Usually the one who stands for wifey. And this person, <clears throat> they're never going to find another person like you. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> can you hear my throat, you guys? I think this happened in the cancer or the water signs reading as well. Um... <clears throat> This person, they know they need to talk to you. Yeah, they see you. They want you. They know who it is that they want. They do, but they're scared, man. They're scared, Cancer. They want this new beginning, but they're scared because they've got to come in and defend themselves. They know they did you wrong. They know they did you wrong. And they know that you're going to have some things to say about it. And I feel like um, they're, this is what scares them. The fact that you've shown so much integrity, right? So much honesty, so much dedication through this whole entire journey. This is one of the things that intimidates this person. And the fact that, you know what, they wronged you. They seriously, I feel like they did some really bad things. And they know when they come forward that you're going to have something to say. You're going to be wanting an explanation. And they don't really have a good one. I will tell you that. This person doesn't really have a good explanation. 
Um, you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, maybe. And I feel like this is somebody who I feel like they they are not afraid to commit. They want a commitment here with you. This is someone who could be a boss, business owner, very good with their money. A hard worker here. They could also be very materialistic and selfish. And I think they've proven that to you in the past. And that's some of the things that they, you know, they're thinking about all of the ways that they hurt you. They're also thinking about all of the possible scenarios um, that that's going to come out of this talk right? The things that you're going to bring up, the things they don't really want to face. I feel like this person just wants you back. I feel like they just want you back. They don't want to go over things from the past. They dread this. They know who it is that they want. And I feel like they're, they're, they are wishing that that's enough. Okay. Um, yeah, they're really wishing. This is a wish. Wish fulfillment, they're wishing that this is enough. They're hoping this is enough, that it's just you that they want, you know? They know they've got to discuss the things from the past, but they don't want to. <laughs> they don't want to. That's what they're afraid of here. This is why they get on that horse and then they turn around. They get on the horse and then they turn around. Like, man, are you going to do something or not here? The divine is starting to get a little bit like... It is time for you to take your test. You need to do what we're telling you to do. Okay? The testing, the exam, in a, the exam room is that way. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. They're literally getting instructions as to what direction to come in towards you. Okay? <laughs> the earth angel here. Yeah, you've got this earth angel energy here. And Cancer, you're right on, <clears throat> you're, you're at this moment in your journey where you're starting to think, you know, maybe I want something new. Maybe I want someone new. You're manifesting a soulmate connection that's not going to bail on you. A soulmate connection that's not going to stab you in the back and betray you. That's what you're manifesting here. Because this person's dragging their feet for too long. They're not showing you anything. They need to show you something. Yeah, look at this cancer. Yeah, this person wants to come back. But see, this is all the stuff that they're, look. This is what they did to you, Cancer, okay? Caused a major tower moment in your life, kept you stuck, chose someone toxic over you, lied to you, in and out energy, betrayal, kept you trapped in your mind about this with no clarity, no closure, right? Caused a major tower moment. Like, for some of you, this could have brought you down to your knees. This was like the straw that literally broke the camel's back. They've done things to you, Cancer, that even they know are unforgivable. And they want you to forgive them. This is why they don't want to talk about this stuff. And then they left you sitting in this energy, some of you, for years. Three, maybe four years after they took what they wanted. Yeah, because they couldn't make a decision. They juggled you with somebody else. For some of them, they got somebody pregnant as well. And now they want to come in and talk to you. Now they want to come in after all of this time. They want to come in and talk to you when you're healed and leaving the scene, right? They know they're about to get their heart broken. Look at the look. That's what makes them procrastinate. They don't want to hurt the same way they hurt you. Now this person has clarity, Cancer, okay? They know that it's you that they want. They know that you are for them, okay? But after all of this that they did, seriously, after all of this that they did to you, this person knows there's a good chance you're going to break their heart the way they broke yours because you've healed and you healed on your own. Where were they? During any of this, no one came to help you besides God. 
and your spirit guides. No one gave you any answers besides God. Okay, I don't see anyone standing at your side. I don't see anyone cutting you out of this energy. They left you stuck here, and they brought down a, down a tower, and they knew it. They knew it, and still they kept their back turned. And they may have even gotten someone else pregnant, like I said. Or they did this all to an empress. Take it how it resonates with you. They got themselves in a toxic situation. They were probably already in one when they lied to you in the first place. I feel like they hid that from you. Yeah, you know what? This They know you're moving on. After all that's been done to you, why wouldn't you? So now this is what they're afraid of. See them protecting their heart. Like I said, wanting a new beginning, but protecting their heart. And this is that back and forth energy that I've been talking about with the two of pentacles under their feet. Okay. So they've gotten clarity here as to who you are and what they want, you know. But they're really afraid to get hurt. They're scared. <laughs> They're scared. And with the high priestess on the bottom, I just saw the high priestess on the bottom of the deck. They know they can't lie to you anymore. They know they need to come in and be completely honest with you, Cancer, because quite frankly, they're not going to get anything past you. Not in your high priestess energy, like your spidey senses are lit. That You're intuitive. And they know also they don't have any time left. They've got to pick up that sword and they've got to run with it fast, 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 or it's over or it is over and they'll be hurt for sure. All the mental mind trap they put you in, all these swords are going to go directly into their back and it's man down. Okay, it's not gender specific, guys, so... But yeah, so they, um, they need to come in very quickly and try to beat the hands of time here because honestly, you're leaving. You're, and this, you're serious about it. I mean, why wouldn't you be? You're not getting anything, but pay. you haven't gotten anything but a runaround, a mind game, heartbreak, and a sword stuck in your back from this person. That's all you got. Some of you felt publicly humiliated this person could have talked about you behind your back, thought they would get away with things. They were laughing. I mean, it was humiliating. And at the same time, where was anybody, anyone to help you? I don't see anyone. No friends, no, no family, no nobody came to even so much as give you the truth about the situation. That's disgusting. I'm sorry, but it is. It it really makes me upset. So yeah, the, anyway, this person has a lot to take responsibility for, Cancer. And they just, they, you know, seriously, their big wish, their big wish is for them to just approach you and say, Cancer, I'm sorry, forgive me, I want you, okay? And uh, let's get back together and for you guys to just get to be back together easily. That's their daydream, okay? That is their dream, their wish, their hope. But I feel like they, they know it's not going to work out like that. They've got to explain all of, the, all of the terrible ways that they treated you. They've got to give you an explanation, and they do not want to talk about the past because they know what they did to you was wrong. Yeah, see, as I say that, they don't want to discuss the past. They just want you in this boat. They want to somehow get you into this boat, regain control of the situation, but not talk about all of these swords that have hurt you, that have kept you stuck in your head. They just want to try to get past it, like instantly, okay? This is what they want. But this person knows they're going to they're gonna be on the defense, okay? This is all that they can think about, 
It's like a dream. Can I just apologize? Can I just say, I'm sorry, cancer. Let's just get in the boat. Let's restart. We'll get over it later. You know what I mean? That's kind of what they're thinking about here. Exactly what I just said. Thank you, Divine. Exactly what I just said. You know, they, they don't want to talk about the things they did wrong. Yeah, in order, yeah, can we heal this and have a new beginning? Can we just heal this and have a new beginning? I love you. I love you, Cancer, and I want you back. I want to reunite. Can we just get over this, put it in the past, not rehash it? Please accept my apology. Will you just forgive me? Get in my boat so we can have a redo. You know, this is what this person wants. And I feel like you require a little bit more than that. You, require, you need some closure and some honesty and some freaking answers about why you were treated like a rag doll. Okay? That's what you need. And I feel like this person, you know, yeah, you're like, no, I need more than that. You may not even want to talk to this person. For some of you, yeah, you're going to be like, uh, no. <laughs> you're going to be like, no. You tell me the truth about how I was betrayed and why I was betrayed. You tell me the truth about why I deserved it after all I gave you was love. Yeah. You're going to be like, no, I'm not going to get in this boat. That, that, that way doesn't work for me. I need answers. And it better be the truth. Yeah, and they're going to be like, uh, right. <laughs> Tell me, please, why did you act a fool? Why were you taking risks with my heart? Why were you acting impulsive with my heart? Why did you think that there would, have, there would be no consequences for what you did to me? This person needs to face you, Cancer. But they don't want to face you. They, I mean, they want to, but they don't, okay? They want to, but they don't. <laughs> They're going up against the Queen of Swords energy. But you're not going to accept anything less than, a, than a, an honest explanation and a real apology and a show of remorse for what they did. There's no way you're going to let this person just get away with this. If they come to you, mm -mm, no, no, no. That's you standing in your strength. You're standing in your boundaries here. You've got your boundaries up. And you're like, you know what? You're not going to cross another line with me. Seriously. They have to come in. Um telling you the truth, Cancer. Whole, and that's why they keep doing that turnaround, right? That's why they're so intimidated. They know what they have to do. They've got to bring you your justice. Yep. Otherwise, I think you guys might not even want to talk to, talk to them about it. That's the feeling that I'm getting off of this. Um, let's see what this person wants to say, okay? But yeah, I feel like that's kind of their plan is to just, you know, what they want, what they're wishing for is for them to just offer you this cup, have it all like this romantic experience, you know, um, like a fairy tale ending, okay? But come on, man. I feel like you guys want the truth about why you were treated like crap. And uh, you should have that. You should have an explanation. You should have somebody give you an honest, real apology. You really, you need what, you need this, Cancer. People around me keep talking about you. Yeah, I'm sure they are talking about you, Cancer. I feel like you're in the public eye somehow, and people can see where it is that you're going in life. You're also seated at the Queen of Pentacles throne. Okay, very financially stable. I feel like you're a single person out here taking care of everything on your own, and you're very independent. 
you know i'm in a karmic relationship but we sleep in separate beds this person could still be with someone toxic we haven't even touched base on that one they could be coming to you prematurely but i feel like they kind of have to they've got to take this test whether they're prepared for it or not their big test is are they going to have the strength to come in and tell you the truth and take responsibility for all of this, right? It doesn't feel right without you, but I need my space right now. See, that's that wanting to come forward and then chickening out, okay? You have greatly impacted my life. You know why part of that is? One, because you're an earth angel energy, and two, because this person... Uh, they've never, I feel, I feel like this person doesn't usually face their responsibilities and take accountability for stuff. I feel like they're used to getting away with things. They're used to doing whatever they want. And you were the one person that they came up across cancer that isn't going to stand for it. That's why you've greatly impacted this person's life. You open their eyes to a whole new world of people not putting up with their BS. All right, give me one more of what this person wants to say. So this person may still be in a karmic situation. We should pull a couple cards on that afterwards too. Um, I feel alone among all these people around me. I feel like, yeah, they're just, they don't, they don't want to be around the karmic anymore. And I'm saying it's a karmic situation because I feel like there's codependency here. There could be some addictions with this as well. Um, but yeah, there's some place with the devil, okay? When I said I didn't love you, that was a lie. Yeah, this person's in love with you. They're in love with you, Cancer. Um, I just want to pull a few on this toxic situation here. I just want to check this out because this person, um, I feel like they're about to come towards a cancer. They're going to feel like a fool. They may be acting kind of awkward, okay? Um, they may be sweaty. They may be shaky. They may not be able to form a sentence very well. Um, and it's just because of their nerves, okay? So uh, I feel like you have a test too. Um, as an earth angel, I feel like in order for this person to close out their cycle, their cycle properly, they've got to do this. They've got to come forward and be real with you, okay? And I feel like your part to play in that is to handle it with grace and maybe hear, at least hear them out. Some of you don't want to talk to this person. You know, but they have to do this anyway because they're being literally booted all the way to you by the divine. Okay, so they have to do this. Whether you take this person back or not, whether you believe them or not, that's too many, but yeah, I feel like this person feels stuck here. They feel, I feel like they feel stuck. They may even want to keep you stuck because they're angry that um, you may have other options around you. Uh, well, you know, then they're going to have to confront this with everybody that's involved. You know what I mean? And and they can't just keep you stuck here, Cancer. Mm -mm, you got a life to live. Yeah, toxic energy. I feel like this person... Give me one more on this Ace of Cups. I feel like they, yeah, they want something new here, Cancer. This person's walking away from somebody who's toxic. They want this new beginning in love. They want this new beginning in love with you, okay? It, and I feel like they waited too long. They waited a, a long time here. This could have been three years this person's been trying to decide. They may have even had a third person involved in their life, okay? But it's time for this person to take a new, start a new journey or live with a broken heart. That's what they get. And they're not pleased about this. Like, this is somebody who's very frustrated about having to come forward. If you see, they're slamming their fist down, right? They don't like that they have to come forward and do this. 
but they can't have both. And if they want another chance with you, they've got to come in personally and do this the right way. I feel like they did try to send somebody else to talk to you. I feel like that's this here. Because we've got two fools. We've got two fools here. And I feel like... Um, I feel like their their plan to to try this a different way is it's not working. They're angry that they actually have to have to come in and talk first. I don't know. They're they're a bit angry about that. But I do see this person walking away from somebody who's very toxic. They're walking away from that because they want this new beginning with you. They're the ones who got them their own heart broken. And, you know, honestly, I also feel like, um, I, like I said, they don't, they know that they don't want to hurt the way they hurt you. They know they caused you heartache and they don't want to hurt the way they hurt you. But they're mad. They're mad that they have to do this. You know, the King of Swords, they, the King of Swords doesn't ever want to admit that they're wrong. Okay, I, I kind of compare the King of Swords to the Emperor a lot. <laughs> um, neither one of them want to admit that they were ever wrong. Neither one of them want to let go of that ego. Okay, but if this person, if they want you, they've got to do this. And even if, even if they were going to stay with this karmic, okay, um, or whatever toxic situation this was, they still need to do it because the Divine is out here forcing them to come forward okay this is a test for your person one that they have to take so expect this person to come forward cancer they're gonna be scared to death like this person's going to be terrified of this okay um but yeah that's part of the impact you made on their life you're not they can't get away with with how they treated you they're not going to just get away with it. Anyway, Cancer, listen, that's what I've got for tonight's reading. I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you guys. If you like this video, please hit that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel if you like this vibe. Um, and until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.